Taking care of your clothes and shoes can be a pain, but it can also pay off huge. Lisa Lee Freeman is editor-in-chief of Shop Smart Magazine, and she's here with tips to keep our favorite outfits looking great. Good morning. Good morning, Maggie. So you tested a bunch of stuff with Consumer <gasps> yes. Reports and came up with the creme de la creme. Oh, yes. This is what you need to keep your clothes looking like new. All right, let's start over here. Well, hangers. hangers. You say that not all hangers are created That's equal. right. With hangers, size matters. Uh -huh. Because if you don't have the right size, you're, you're going to get shoulder bumps, which is like about the worst thing that could happen to Awful. a jacket or a shirt. Or a sweater like this, which you shouldn't hang oh, anyway. Actually, sweaters yeah, right. should fold, not hang. But uh, a lot of people are getting bigger. But the hangers haven't gotten any bigger. So the typical hanger is maybe 16, 17 inches. But you may want to look at a hanger that's more like 19 or 20 inches. And if you're petite like us, you actually might need a smaller hanger. And you might want to go with one of those felt ones or those squishy ones. What should you look for when you're buying a hanger? The wood is Wood is fine or the, you know, or the padded ones. Depending They're, on yeah. your needs. Yeah. What about garment bags? First of all, why would somebody need a garment bag in their closet? Well, if you have like nice things, you know, a nice dress, silk blouses, things that you don't want to fade, also wool suits and wool coats, they can get moth holes. And so this thing is going to prevent you from getting moth holes and get, getting faded uh, from light. So protect your good stuff in there. You don't have to put your jeans in there. Okay, what makes this a good <laughs> garment bag? Well, it's breathable. It's cotton. Uh, you don't want to get the kind that's uh, plastic because that can actually cause white shirts to get yellow, yellow and, yes. and, and, and other problems. So you want something that's that's going to breathe with your clothes. And this one is made of cotton. Yeah, so. just breathable cotton. Right, yeah. Very good. Yeah. These are good. You tested these for um, preventing underarm stains? That's right. Underarm stains. That's another really bad thing that can happen to your clothing. And they're caused by the acids and the salts and the and the alcohol and the, and the deodorant mm -hmm. mixing together with your sweat. Uh, one way to prevent them is to use these Kleinert's shields. Uh, in a pinch, you could also use a mini pad, of course. Oh, good tip. <laughs> so you stick this on the shirt yes. in here yes. and it won't even show. No, absolutely we'll not. It and it'll one. prevent them, especially if you're wearing some really nice shirt and you don't, like a silk blouse and you don't want it to get messed up. All right. uh, to, if, if you get an armpit stain, there's something called Fels Naphtha. Pre-treat it with that before you put it into the wash. And okay, we'll help. put that on the website because yeah. people Fels are not going to remember that. It's a bar. Shoe trees. I'd never seen these adorable little shoe trees for women. Well, these are great because they help keep the shoes in good condition. They help keep the shape. If you can't afford these, these are about 20 bucks a, p mm. a pair. Uh, Tissue paper does the job too. Not newspaper. Much cheaper. Well, newspaper you could use, but you got to worry about, you know, you could get the Stains. newsprint on the, the shoes. Exactly. What and shoes should have shoe trees? Your good shoes. Don't worry about keeping your all your shoes in these because you know that's just not huh. practical. Even women. But your good shoes. I've yeah, never used shoe women. trees. Just my husband. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. No. Absolutely. Now, and oh, by the way, they absorb sweat, and that's one thing that oh, really degrades a, a shoe, especially the cedar kind. So worth going for it. Very good. Should we keep our shoes in a box? Yes. You want to keep your shoes separated. Again, you may not need to keep your sneakers separated, but your really good shoes so they don't get scuffed up. So if you keep them in a pile on the floor. You know, they're not going to last as long. You might actually not have them for more than a season or two if they're in a big pile on the bottom of your closet. All right, in the last <laughs> seconds, what makes these detergents better than the others you tested? Well, we tested over 40 different detergents. We stained them with blood and mud and grass stains and all kinds of icky stuff. And this one came out the top. Tied uh, time and time again is our top rated detergent. This one with bleach alternative is the best one. And this one for this delicates. This one's good for delicates. Um, we tested this also against Tide Total Care, which is their new detergent. This worked better and it was cheaper. All right. Thank you so much, Lisa Lee You're Freeman. Welcome. For more information on clothing care tips, go to our website, earlyshow.cbsnews.com.